Hello everyone, this is the Naples Money Manager's news you can use. We are here with Marcus Pickle and John Kincaid, as always, and we have some, uh, some updates for you. So we're, we're well into the fourth quarter now, about uh, what? 17 days into the fourth quarter. Right, today's October 16th to give you kind of a... 17th. Excuse me, 17th, <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're uh, a day behind, folks, but yeah, we're very close to uh, an, an election, and the real question is, is how is that affecting things in the market? And I would go so far as to say it's not. Um, the market is really strong right now. We're, we're sitting at... Um, a record high in the Dow and the S&P and the NASDAQ. And we're seeing some really strong recoveries in some of the sectors that have been beat up lately, like the, 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 the big tech sectors, the large cap tech, NVIDIA, the Netflix, the Metas have all staged a really solid recovery. You know, when you talk about these record highs, uh, first comment out of the peanut gallery will be, well, I'm not gonna invest. We're at new highs. And you know, when you really think about that, what, what Marcus is referring to are the fundamental um, of the stocks themselves, right? Exactly. Yeah. And of the market. The nuts and bolts that make it, they, 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 how they make their money, not the charts. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, so, you're good. <laughs> been a long day so far, and it's only noon. <laughs> so when you have these components of the market, financial stock specific or whatever, they have started to put in some great bases of, uh, of growth. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just not the tech sector. Uh, it kind of sold off a month, two months ago, but now we see uh, utilities doing well. Uh, we see a lot of um, trends in the market with the older blue chip companies Absolutely. that are becoming uh, a little bit more popular. Uh, well, and if you go back several weeks, folks, when we were really at the height of this pullback in the tech sector, one of the things that we talked a lot about was that this wasn't money being taken out of the market. It was money being spread around. Good you know, point. what John's talking about is exactly what happened. People moved to these other very attractive stocks. They gave up a little, they, there was a little bit of that feeling that the, that the growth story, the momentum in these large cap techs had kind of fallen off and that people were gonna spread their money out to these really great opportunities in utilities, industrials, um, materials, and, and we've really seen that. You know, the market is still at record highs. You know, the Dow is at, what is it? Um, is it 43? Gosh, I look at the Dow every day, but I never remember yeah, what it, it is. It's still absolute record highs, and if the, if the market had truly been spooked, as a lot of people felt it was, you would have seen that market flow into treasuries, um, certificates, certificates deposits, exactly. Deposits, yeah. Something that was a little bit safer, but instead they just kind of rotated into different sectors. And this kind of segues nicely into our next conversation is, where do we think the market's gonna go towards the end of the year? You know, we've, we've gone really back and forth um, with you know, whether or not we should protect the return we have um, which we're sitting on a really solid return in our option writing accounts, approximately 17%. Um, or do we you know, continue to chase this market? And it, it's, it's, it's a really difficult question. Now, when we say chase, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what we mean is uh, try to really capture more growth, capital appreciation mm -hmm. upside uh, through November and December. Uh, but, but you have to re remember also that this, the underlying stocks that we own, um, we then write calls on them. So, so we're not chasing literally. What we're doing is, is, is buying companies that are strong with the dividend and then reducing risk by, by selling the call. No, John is absolutely right, and that's a much better explanation than the way I put it. My concern as kind of the primarily uh, portfolio um, manager for these is, is maximizing the return. If the market is still moving out, you want to, moving up, you want to participate in that. And that's really what I was looking at here. But we do have a really strong return that we'd like to hold on to. Now, the good news is, 
with all these um, uh, questions we're asking ourselves about where the market is headed, you are very protected. You have a solid position in cash, and the options that John was talking about are an enormous amount of protection. The market could really fall pretty precipitously, I don't want to give an exact number, and we would still hold on to quite a bit of our current return based on how we're postured. You know, this is pretty critical because in a traditional portfolio of stocks and bonds or just stocks, you can't do that. You, you have to keep your fingers crossed that through the end of the year, you're going to get another two, three, four, five percent so you can use that for income, for retirement, living, travel, whatever. And so traditional portfolios don't have that capacity uh, to hedge the market. To hedge the market yeah. and be safe. And, and, and that's crucial because if you take a portfolio of 30 stocks, great stocks, blue chip stocks, if you don't have some overlay, uh, you're taking 100% of the risk or the volatility, that's the risk, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the market. And the fact of the matter is, folks, no one really knows. And if they tell you they do, they're lying. No one knows what the market's going to do. We're all operating with the same amount of knowledge, theoretically, by law. We're all operating with the same amount of knowledge. So no one really knows. And we're in a situation now with the way technology has grown within the market that things happen very quickly. You know, Don, I think, has mentioned it before, you know, the, 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 the crash that they opened on. Most people didn't find out about it until six months later because that's how the news worked. Now you know about it six seconds later as it's unfolding. And even six seconds later, you're late because the big traders using their, their algorithms and flash trading have already acted upon it. So being in this market without some kind of protection protection seems almost like lunacy to me. Uh, it, it is lunacy. In fact, this industry of financial advisors, etc., cetera, um, have kind of changed the public's way to really see clearly into, into their portfolios, mainly around risk. Mm. And the industry has not done a good job with really educating clients about risk. No, I don't they think just, so. They just, uh, they haven't. It, it, yeah. For some time they haven't. In fact, uh, Bernstein, which is a portfolio manager, took a, a survey of their high, ultra high net worth clients and I think it was 73% of their high net worth clients said they were uncomfortable about talking to their advisor about their investments. That's crazy. Right, because nobody talks about risk. Mm -hmm. And then people feel like, whoa, is this really safe? You know, I'm 83 years old with five million in the market. Uh, I've known the advisor for 15 years, but we don't talk about risk, or if we do, it's superficial. There you go. And that's, that's a really good point, folks. Like, I don't know how you can be in this market buying good blue chip companies. Take Nike, for example. Nike. Everyone knows Nike. They make shoes. Really great company. Got a great balance sheet. They had earnings um, a few weeks ago. Stock dropped 15%. How do you account for that in your portfolio? How do you account for a 15% swing overnight? You can't if you're using what I call the buy and pray method, buy an equity and hold it and hope it makes, goes up. You need some kind of hedge. Now, luckily at the Naples Money Managers, we have the covered call. But without that, I think the market is just too volatile. And the percent of advisors or portfolio managers in the industry that manage money, uh, the the percent that actually put hedges into portfolios is probably under 10%. I would absolutely believe uh, that. I'm going to guess. So that means that 90% of people out there with uh, their precious money in the market have no hedge, mm -hmm. have no risk mitigation process. Exactly. And we are in the business of people's livings, folks. At the Naples Money Managers, we have we have the means to maintain people's lifestyles, and we take that very seriously. I sometimes so feel, that's another yeah. component of, of using uh, these options. Not only does it dampen the volatility, but it also can increase substantially 
um, the income for the portfolio. To maintain their lifestyles. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, we really try to avoid those big life-changing drops in the market, which we've never had in our 30 years. Here, we've never had one of those big wrecks. Remember, 2008, market was down 38%. Our worst accounts were down 18. And that's in a, in a complete washout environment. So we, we really focus on protecting our clients' money. What's the quote Don always uses? We're not in the business of making money, but on the return of people's money. You know, people want to keep the money that they have. They've spent their whole life building this nest egg. And any kind of disruption can really change that. So, Especially when you're taking five, six percent a year to augment uh, your retirement. Your fixed income, absolutely. So luckily, all news on the portfolio right now is currently good. We're in a really good position moving into the end of the year. We're very, very well protected and we are making some decisions as to whether or not we are going to try to maximize our potential return going into the final two months. But regardless of what we decide, we're sitting on a really solid return and we're very well protected, whatever the market decides to throw at us. But remember folks, while money is important, you matter as well. This is the Naples Money Manager's News You Can Use. Marcus Bickle. Have a great day. John Kincaid here. Please like and subscribe. Take care.